Hi there, Lindsay here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a monkey fist knot. Uh, these are commonly used with paracord for zipper pulls and keychains and what have you. And uh, the secret to this knot is um, a marble in the center. They also call these self-defense um, <laughs> keychains because you got a you got a heavy weight in there. This has a big like marble shooter and this is a standard marble. I'm going to show you how to make one with a standard knot today, a standard marble today. So the first thing you need is about, really you only need three feet of paracord, but I recommend you go with five or six. That way you can work it into a keychain if you want to later. And burn both ends with a lighter so that it doesn't fray when you're working, because it can be quite irritating when it's fraying. So the first thing you want to do, you also need a marble. Um, let a couple inches of cord dangle. And you don't have to do that, but if you want to make it into a keychain later, it just makes it easier. Then going around three of your fingers, two or three of your fingers, wrap three times. Now you could do however many passes you want. This one, for instance, this big one had five passes, but I was going to put a big marble in there, so I needed a bigger knot. Um, but for this regular marble, we just need three passes. Now pull your finger on out of there and go around that bundle of cord three times. Make sure you make three full loops all the way around, okay? You don't want two loops on one side and three on the other. Not that the world would end or anything, but it's just, it'll look nicer if you have it like this. I also try to not make my uh, loops too big because then I won't have so much to tighten at the end. So then holding this very carefully, you're going to pop a marble in there, just like so. Get it between those, uh, that second bundle of strings there. And then you're going to go through the hole in the middle, like so, and you're going to wrap it around um, three more times. So basically you've got three bundles of uh, three wraps. Does that make sense? Hope so. Now this is fun because um, this is a great project for kids to do. It's another knot they could learn, but also um, it's also a fun little um, presents they could make for relatives or items they could sell in craft fairs. My kids are very excited about this project because they want to make some paracord stuff. And as you probably hear them roller skating upstairs. I don't know if that picks up on the camera or not, but I'm hearing I'm hearing the roller rink up, upstairs. Yesterday it was elephants, today it's a roller rink. <laughs> Whatever keeps them away from the screens, my friends. I'm all for that. All right, so we've got our three. I'm checking everywhere. Three here, three here, three here, three here. We got three everywhere. So to tighten, basically what I do is I just look for a loop and I start pulling. And then I just work myself my way around just pulling on that same string as I go. Sometimes you go around twice um, because you don't want to pull it too much. You don't want to have one string way too tight and the rest um, kind of loose and uneven. So if you go around in two passes, you usually get a little more even of a um, of a knot. Um, so, you know, this is, this is very easy to do with paracord. I tried it with macrame cord, but it was just too, um, it was just too tight once the knot pulled that cotton. Um, I couldn't slide the knots in around to tighten it. So I would recommend paracord or rat tail or mouse tail or one of those types of cords. Um, so this is after one tightening. I would want to go and tighten this one more time because it's not really, see I could still get a good loop out of there. So I want to go ahead and tighten that one more time. So again, I just, if I can't find where the end comes out, I just pull it a little bit and I'll see one of those strands wiggling and that's the one that I pull and I just work my way around and the first time you do this you're going to be like forget which way you've been pulling from honestly it doesn't really matter you'll get the hang of it trust me you will and see there's a lot there was a lot more slack that I could tighten up there and that will just give you a much more uniform finish sometimes you only need to tighten it once um, especially if you started off small like I recommended um, but other times, like when you're doing this big knot here, you gotta tighten it two or three times because you just, you need some room to work. So you can't start it off too small or, you'll, or you can't get the marble and you can't work around in there. So my friends, that is how you make a monkey fist knot. Now really quick, I'm gonna show you how to put that on a keychain if you want. If you're, if you're done, I was debating whether I wanted to do two videos or not, but we're only up to like four and a half minutes. So I think that I can uh, I can show you how to put that on a keychain. Might not finish it all off, but just give you the give you the general idea. See how I just kind of pull on a string. If I can't get it to push, I just kind of pull and see where we're coming from here. And see, I got a nice big I've got a big slack loop here. All right. So if I want to put this on a keychain, 
one way I might do that, probably the, the way I do it most often, is I would take the shorter strand and I would get a key ring and I would fold the short strand in half like this. Alright, now this is adjustable. I can make this longer if I want to. And then with my other loose end, I would just weave it back and forth. This is actually going to make a, um, a fish knot, or actually looks like a fishtail braid, but you know, you don't want to call it braids if you're dealing with, you know, boys doing this craft. You know, they don't want to hear the word braid in their uh, handiwork. It's a fish, fish knot, not a fishtail braid. I'd call it a fishtail braid. That's what you can tell your daughters you're making. It's all on how you sell the craft, moms. It's all how you sell it. And dads, I shouldn't assume it's just moms because we're working paracord. This is manly stuff. And then you just kind of work it all the way through when you get to the ends. And this is a parent only job. The kids can do it up until you get to the ends. When you get to the ends, you want to snip your cord about a quarter of an inch from your closest uh, wrap. Light it with the lighter. Now, when you flick the lighter, I don't have a lighter right here. Flick the lighter. You'll see there's yellow flame and there's blue flame. Get the blue flame here. That will keep you from burning your cord. Get the blue flame there. Uh, light it for about five seconds. Then um, use like the edge of your scissors or the edge of your lighter if you're brave. You know, I don't really recommend that. It's probably not the safest. Use the edge of your scissors or something and just shove it in there and it's going to melt to the cord right next to it. So, you know, continue the, working this uh, weave all the way up and, and trim your ends and melt it down and you have got yourself a fancy schmancy monkey's fist really cool keychain there you have it friends i hope you enjoyed it again this is Lindsay the frugal crafter give me a thumbs up if you like this video i appreciate every thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss any more crafty goodness and i will see you next time take care and happy crafting